Hi guys. So the scatter diagram is one of the simpler cost estimation techniques. It's also one of the least reliable cost estimation techniques, but it still gives us an, a fair indication in some instances of what the total cost would be in future. So let's have a look at the, what the scatter diagram is. So first of all, the scatter diagram is sometimes referred to as the scatter graph or the scatter plot. And it's, so it's all the same um, thing that they refer to. So here we've got the number of units on the x-axis and the total cost on the y-axis. And now if we look at our past information, remember when we estimate costs, the only information that we have available to us in the present would be past information. So if we think the past information is a good indication of what's going to happen in future, we can use that past inf information to estimate future um, costs. Obviously, if there's something we know that's going to change in future that was not relevant in the past, we have to take that into account. So if we, for instance, know electricity is going to go up by 20%, we can't ignore that when we look at past information to estimate future information. So if we plot on this um, graph, so say, say in, um, in the first year we made 10 units and that cost us uh, 100. And then the next year we made 15 units and that cost us 150. So we can plot um, these points on the graph. Now obviously you need to uh, draw this very carefully and on scale, otherwise you won't be able to read meaningful information from it. So the more accurate you, you draw the graph, the more accurate your information will be that you read from the graph. So obviously on a computer it will be um, much more accurate than if you do it by hand. And that's one of the problems with the scattered diagram. Um, everyone's plots will be uh, slightly off if, you, if you're not very accurate. But let's go on. So let's um, say then uh, one year we, we only make 12 units, so that's somewhere in between, so 120. Um, it could be anything, but I'm just going to plot a lot of graphs here um, or a lot of points. And now the next step would be, now this is all past information, so the next step would be to look at these dots and see whether it represents a straight line. If it does, like in this case, we can then draw a subjective line of best fit. And then that line would be our predicted cost line. So that would be our um, linear equation line. So if we know in this particular month we're going to produce 40 units, we can extend it from the x-axis to our prediction line, our line of best fit, and then from there extend it left towards the y-axis and then read off our total cost from the graph. Now you can see how important it is to draw very neatly and to draw um, everything on scale, otherwise you'll get a less reliable result. So next we'll look at an illustrative example to show you how we can use the scatter diagram to estimate future costs. But this basically just shows you what we're trying to do.